just to clarify, again, we're not trying to legalize street walking. Um, the prostitution that we're talking about will only be legal in licensed brothels. So um, obviously people will still be criminalized for sex trafficking and pimps will still be criminalized also. Um, brothels have actually been shown to be success I mean, acceptable in society. Um, according to an article in Express, um, it quotes, they evoke feelings of safety and security via their often 24-hour presence. They are distractions from mundane hours of work. They contribute economically via the use of taxi services and other amenities for clients and sex workers. And finally, a role that is never reported, the sex workers are also neighbors and friends who put the bins out like everybody else. So, I don't know, this article was on um, a brothel in Blackpool in the UK, and it just went on and on about how um, the community actually enjoys the brothel being there. And then um, also, from a quote in Business Insider, um, someone who owned a brothel said, the whole name of the game is control, but that control also makes us get along pretty well with the sheriff's office, one owner told the researchers. There are two reasons for doing it. One, the sheriff's office, but also the personal girl's safety. So these owners really do care about the girl's safety, and so do the police. And it looks like they're doing everything in their power to um, keep that intact. Um, it's also crucial that sex workers feel comfortable with the police in order to have this protection. Um, another quote from the article for Express said, sex workers reported good relationships with the police in Blackpool, which is vital for their safety. And several residents also discussed good relationships with sex workers as friends and neighbors. So um, yeah, brothels are actually accepted in society and they are actually pretty safe. Um, also, they're talking about how legalization will still result in mistreatment, but why have it illegal so that it continue so that the mistreatment can continue to go on without any repercussion at all? The, de the decriminalization will make the people who abuse and mistreat these prostitutes be held accountable. Not only that, but the prostitutes can take care of themselves without fear of being sent to jail. So although there is no way to guarantee that no abuse or mistreatment will ever happen ever, um, it's better to persecute the abusers rather than let them continue on with their actions. And then um, Malik also said that um, prostitution allows for sex trafficking, which that's actually not true. Um, it's been proven that legalizing prostitution reduces it. Um, on a article for the Daily Beast, um, it said people are waking up to the fact that laws against sex workers actually help human tra traffickers. Um, Germany legalized sex work in 2001, and after that, cases of sex—I uh, mean, cases of sex-based human trafficking—shrank by 10 percent. And then, on top of that, um, these cases are minimal as it is. Um, another a quote said, "Another small number can be found in the department's in the Department of Justice's Human Trafficking Prosecution Unit's website." which says that between 2009 and 2011, the DOJ brought an average of 24 um, force-based labor cases annually, which is a very small number. Thank you.